Hello and welcome to the world of maps, editable PowerPoint maps for sales and marketing presentations. Today's video lesson will be how do I split a state in half. Uh, very often customers come to us and what they would like to do is take a territory map that they're setting up for their sales force and uh, highlight all the different territories, but what they need is to take one of the states or countries and split it in half because the salesperson uh, only covers half the state and a different salesperson covers the other half. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to learn how to take an object in PowerPoint and split it in half. And the PowerPoint is a terrific program with incredible customizing and ability to present all kinds of things. It isn't really a drawing program, so it doesn't have the ability to cut an object, such as the state of Arizona, in half but we sort of have a workaround that works really well and, and we use it all the time. Uh, these are our editable maps for PowerPoint and what that means is that all the objects in any of the maps that we sell are individual objects that can be changed, customized, um, pulled out, put back. Before we begin, let's just take a quick look at our drawing toolbar where we'll be working today. Um, over on the left side of the drawing toolbar is the draw pop-up menu and in here we have a range and group and edit points, which is what we'll be talking about shortly. We also have text tools in here. You can add in custom shapes. You can change the color of your type. You can add colors to different objects. So that's sort of the basic toolbar and that's uh, located usually at the top or the bottom or, or wherever you really want to put it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to just take the state of Arizona and we're going to slice it into two pieces or what looks like two pieces and uh, assign it to the two different sales territories. So first, what I would like to do is we're just going to click on it with our pointer. And if you're on a PC, it's the right button on your mouse. If it's a Mac, you just do a single click. You can tell it's been selected because we have the little eight handles that go around the outside. That tells you you can now do something to it. I'll go up to my Edit menu. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to paste it. You'll see now have a, we now have a duplicate copy of it. I'm going to click and hold with my mouse button and drag it out here into this blank area. So now that I have it out here in this blank area, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. So let's go into about 300%. That'll make it a little easier to see what's going on. And as you can see, it's selected. We have the eight handles around the outside. And if I go to my draw pop-up menu and I select edit points right here, you will see around the outside all the points that make up all the little different angles of this state. So all the perimeters, the perimeter of the state is highlighted. And I can now nibble away these little points and basically reduce the size of this object until it's about half the size. I'll give it a new color and I'll drop it back on top of the old uh, Arizona and it will look to the viewer like we have split the state in half. On the PC, you'll hold down your control key. On the Macintosh, it's your option key. But basically what I'll do is I'll take my pointer and you'll notice it changes state as it moves from out here in the blank area to over the state. See that little star that's right there? So if I hold down my option key and I cl click on that little box, you'll notice that it kind of, it just disappears. So I can nibble away all my little points see them all going away it goes pretty quick it doesn't take long to do this I can also add a point and I want to put a line right through here this is where I want to split the state so I'm going to just add a point right here on that edge and then I'm going to nibble off that one right there and now you'll see that it has been cut in half the next step would be to take and give it the orange color, like New Mexico. So I'm just going to go to my drawing toolbar, I'm going to go to my fill bucket, pick the orange color. I can now take and put my cursor over the state, or over this object, click and hold the right mouse button, and drag it right over where it's supposed to go. Let's, before I do that, let me move my type. So the same thing with type, I can, because it was in the way, I can select the type with my pointer. If I go to that little gray line around the outside, I can just move it down, click, hold, and drag it down, come back here, put my piece of Arizona right back on top, and there you go. Looks pretty good. 
I zoom back out, let's go back out to 100%, I zoom back out to the viewer, it looks like I have split this state in half. You and I know it's two pieces, but it works basically the same. It's a great way to um, customize your map and to highlight a certain section of a state or a country or a county that needs to be shown. So today we learned how to um, cut an object in half, you select it, copy it, paste it. Uh, while it's selected, you go to your draw pop-up menu, remember up here, select edit points, nibble the points away to get the size that you want. If you need to add a point, you can do that. Uh, color it the correct color and uh, drop it back into place. Thank you for joining us today at the World of Maps, where we have editable PowerPoint maps for your sales and marketing presentations. Our maps are easy to edit and customize with uh, world, U.S., states, countries, regions, counties, all that kind of stuff. Um, great for your sales and marketing. Maps can be downloaded from two different websites, bjdesign.com, where we have our subscription site, mapsfordesign.com, with our individual maps. And, as always, you can always order CD-ROM. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.